What's up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video. I still am pretty sick, so you guys just have to bear with me on this. But anyways, we're going to be talking about Jurassic Park and Jurassic World today. Since these two movies are the most similar in the entire franchise, and they are the easiest movies to compare in the series, since both of the themes of these movies revolve around a theme park and dinosaurs chasing humans on an island. So, ever since Jurassic World came out in 2015, people have been saying that it's either the best movie in the series or the second best movie in the series. I'm just going to be talking about which one I think is better and why I think that one is better. So, obviously, the newer generation, the younger generation of Jurassic Park fans are going to be they're going to be biased and they're going to lean towards Jurassic World since it is in their generation of movies and obviously it is the newest one of the series so they're going to be more used to that and of course the older generation of Jurassic Park fans are going to be leaning towards Jurassic Park since it is the original and that movie probably came out in their lifetime so I'm expecting a lot of different opinions in the comment section below now if you did watch the two movies there are a lot of similarities between the two the biggest similarity obviously is the fact that it is a theme park, Jurassic Park was a theme park, Jurassic World is a theme park. There obviously is dinosaur paddocks and exhibits for humans to go and look at. So we're just going to start off by comparing the beginning of Jurassic Park and the beginning of Jurassic World. Now these are kind of different. Uh, I'm going to side with Jurassic Park on this because I feel like there's a bigger reason to go to Jurassic Park rather than just to go and visit Jurassic World for these kids. We really didn't get an explanation of why John Hammond flew out and, and visited Alan and Ellie, but I think the deal that they made and just the whole build up to going to Jurassic Park was a lot more entertaining and it, it made a lot more sense than what Jurassic World went through where the kids just like kind of randomly just went to the park and honestly I don't really understand what the point of the parents arguing was like that really had nothing to do with the entire movie it only played a role in the beginning but I mean I guess you could say the kids kind of built a bond because of that because when they're on that train ride the gray was obviously crying and Zach was kind of like trying to comfort him I guess you could say but he was kind of being mean about it but other than that it really didn't play that big of a role it really didn't have a major impact on the plot as a whole comparing the two parks is basically the same because it's pretty similar because it is on the same island it is supposed to be the same exact park it's a little bit more advanced and renovated I guess but in my opinion I like the Jurassic Park park um, a little bit better because it has seemed more realistic and not really futuristic I feel like people would actually go and visit that and I just like the fact that they didn't have overdone dinosaurs like the Indominus Rex in Jurassic World compared to the T-Rex in Jurassic Park like they actually included real dinosaurs in the movie so in my opinion I think the plot of Jurassic Park was pretty good and of course the plot of Jurassic World was good but honestly I'm gonna side with Jurassic Park on this one I think just the scenes were more entertaining and the whole idea of a new park that no one has ever seen before is amazing and was a great idea now I'm going to be talking about the characters between the two movies now. Now for Jurassic Park, we had John Hammond, Alan Grant, Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, Dennis Nedry, we had Lack, the young girl, and then we have Timmy, the young boy, and we had a few side characters that really didn't play that big of a role in the movie. And then in Jurassic World, we had Owen, Claire, Gray, Zach, Zara, and a few other characters, of course the parents. If you were to compare these two lineups, I think Jurassic Park had a much better crew, and their characters seem to have a lot more characteristics, I guess you could say than the Jurassic World crew had, so I think we all kind of could tell a story about the Jurassic Park characters rather than Jurassic World characters because we did see a lot of character arcs in Jurassic World, which I liked, but Alan Grant definitely had one of the biggest character arcs in the entire franchise of going from hating the kids to then liking them, going through a bunch of different things to go and protect them, and it was just cool to see that, and that's something we really didn't get to see between the kids and Owen or Claire. Claire didn't really do too much for the kids, she obviously ended up liking them in the end, but in all honesty, I think they played the Jurassic Park characters a lot better. They seem to be more outgoing, and they seem to have actual characteristics of a real person, rather than just some military man, a typical businesswoman, and of course, the typical smart kid, and then the kid that likes girls, so. Now we're going to be talking about the most important thing of the series, and that is the dinosaurs. Now, I guess you could say, since we got a lot more dinosaurs in Jurassic World, this could be a plus. We still can't really forget the fact that Jurassic Park introduced us to these dinosaurs. We got the Velociraptors, the T-Rex, the Ceratops, the Dilophosaurus, Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Gallimimus. We had a bunch of different dinosaurs in that movie. And then in Jurassic World, we had the Indominus Rex, the T-Rex, the Velociraptor, the Ankylosaurus, the Mosasaur, even though it's not a dinosaur, and a bunch of different new dinosaurs. So I guess that's a big plus for Jurassic World. They had a lot of new dinosaurs, they had a hybrid, but they still kept the real dinosaurs in the movie, which I liked. They didn't completely overdo the movie with hybrids, they just had one hybrid that was completely overpowered. That's still cool. But the one thing that Jurassic Park dinosaurs had over the Jurassic World dinosaurs is the fact that they had more iconic scenes, like the T-Rex roar at the end was much better than the T-Rex roar at the end of Jurassic World. We had the Dilophosaurus scene, 
the clever girl scene, and of course the raptor in the kitchen scene, and nothing can really compare to that scene in terms of a lost raptor scenes throughout the rest of the series. Obviously the raptors running through the forest with Owen was a very cool scene, but that was such a total plot twist, and I, I don't know if everyone would like that, but I personally liked it. Now we're going to be talking about the animatronics and the CGI in this movie. The CGI is kind of overdone in Jurassic World, but you can't really notice it, and it's not really that bad, but I wish they did have more animatronics in that movie, like, just having more animatronics makes it feel like a real movie with actual dinosaurs, and animatronics seem to make the dinosaurs look a lot cooler and a lot more realistic. Like if you compare the T-Rex from Jurassic Park and the T-Rex from Jurassic World, you can tell a huge difference between the two, and you can see that the Jurassic Park T-Rex looks a lot more like a real T-Rex rather than the Jurassic World T-Rex. Even though they're the same exact T-Rex, it still looks more realistic in Jurassic Park. But Jurassic World did take the advice and the suggestions from the fans, so they are including a lot more animatronics in Jurassic World 2, which is amazing. So in my opinion, I honestly think Jurassic Park tops Jurassic World, but not by much. Obviously Jurassic Park is the original, the iconic one, and obviously everyone's gonna like it a bit more because it did introduce us to a lot of dinosaurs and basically the whole franchise was built upon Jurassic Parks. And Jurassic World is not a bad movie at all. I'd honestly put it as number two in the entire series so far. And I just like the whole idea of the entire movie, the new hybrid. They seem to be going in a good direction with the entire series, so I guess you guys can thank Jurassic World for bringing back the franchise. So if I were to rate these two movies, I'd probably put Jurassic Park as a 10 out of 10, and Jurassic World as probably a 9.5 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Jurassic Park and Jurassic World? Which one do you think is better and why? And as always guys, leave a like and have a nice day.